Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend, a church you can call home, yes. and where we honor God, live families, uh, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Bienvenido a la iglesia no comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all those that are visiting, and all those that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Prepare Amen. yourselves to receive what God has for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. We always prepare ourselves for something. Prepare yourselves, you know, when you go before God to receive something. And we're going to be talking about they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Amen. But you got to wait with faith, patience, and expectancy. Amen. Have hope. Amen. So we're going to learn a, a bunch of good little things in here. Amen. Amen. I got a couple of um, a couple of uh, nuggets I want to read to you. It's called Scripture Breaks that I put on Facebook. One of them says this. A new, new year strength. Um, because the hunger of your heart, yeah. because the desire of your soul, because you refuse to give up, God is sending winds of refreshments. Yes. He is pouring out a new anointing. He is igniting a fire in you that will act as a hedge of protection against the enemy, enemy's flaming arrows. Yes. You will hear the accusations. You will hear the accusations and you uh, against you. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Uh -huh. right, amen. So praise God. Yeah, you yeah. will run and not uh you will run and walk with new strength this new year. Amen. amen. Yeah. Listen to this, amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. So praise God. And uh we can do this this new year, this new day, each and every day. Amen. So church, I'm excited. I don't know about you, those of you that are watching. Expect to receive from God. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about attitude. This is the attitude to have. Amen. Is receive. Amen. Receive what God has for you. So grab your sword. Let's make this declaration together. And we can get right into the word of God. Amen. So say it like you mean it, church. Come on. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind to the word, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name, growing each and every day. You know, this thing to do is, you know, a little baby, they grow. They don't stay babies all the time. Well, we don't want to be baby Christians all our lives. We got to get the word in it, in us. We got to stay hungry and thirsty for the word of God and grow in the word day by day. Amen. New levels, new devils. Amen. So you don't want to stay the same all the time. You know, that devil is a full time devil. And we don't want to be part time Christians just yeah. once in a while, you know. But at all times, growing and going for God. Amen. Yeah. He's got assignments for you. So you know what? I got to stay ready for whatever He's got for me. Amen. He's, he's put, he puts you on this mission. We've talked about this all the time. He's anointed. He's called you. He's got a call on you. He's anointed you and equipped you for this walk here on earth. Amen. Amen. This is not our home. Amen. We just celebrated our, my brother's home going. But celebrating his home going home. He's going home. He's going to heaven. And that's what we will be doing also. Amen. Either he raptures us or, or we, he, we they lay us down. But still, we're going home. This yeah. is just earth. This is not our home. We're passing that's through. It. Amen. We're walking through. We're no way to stop. And just be comfy. It's time to press on Amen. and let God have His way with us. Amen. Uh -huh. We're here on a mission, so guess what? <laughs> Get busy on your mission. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, what do you have for me today? Meet with Him on a daily basis. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be talking about patiently waiting on Him. Patiently Amen. waiting on Him. Ooh, hallelujah. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Patient, listen, patiently waiting on him in this impatient and ungodly world. There's a lot of rage going on out there. Oh, man. People getting hurt. People getting killed because they're so impatient. You know what rage means? Rage means anger. Rage means wrath. Mm -hmm. Man, they don't want to wait. You know? So they're just waiting for something to trigger them off. No. So, spend time with him. Prepare yourself yes. before you go into this un un impatient, ungodly world. Amen. If you don't have, if you leave home without him, you know, uh -huh. you're, you're going to find out real quick. Because people are going to let you know. Yeah. Or people are going to say things yeah. 
that it's not going to come across real easy. And how your attitude and how you react mm -hmm. is having you spend time with him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> having you spend time with him. You know, Jesus did this before he went anywhere. And he's our greatest example. Yeah. If he needed to do it, so Amen. do it. We, <laughs> we need the same thing. Because, yeah. man, they'll, they'll sink your buck in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you something in a heartbeat. Ain't going to come across. <laughs> and if you're still in the flesh, you're going to react in the flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're in the spirit and you have the love and compassion of Christ in you, you're going to react, react a different way. Yes. Just like Jesus did. We need to do the same thing. Yes. So patiently, patiently waiting on, wait, uh, waiting on him. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. Waiting the, this new year, this new day with a new attitude. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's time to set our, ourselves. Have a new attitude each and every day. A godly attitude. Have a winning attitude. Amen. It's time. All that losing stuff, we got to just put it behind us. Amen. We got to we yeah. make it work. Listen, yeah. I, well, I wrote it. Let me see how I wrote it. See yourself soaring with eagles. See yourself soaring with God. You want to get high? Get high on the most high God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Be yeah. positive. Not scratching with chickens yeah. like yeah. the world and be negative all the time. Man, they're champions at being negative. Yes, they are. And some of us just we just go learn with what, what we hear. <laughs> and we repeat what we hear. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Do you know we've been talking about this? Have you been growing? Words is death and life. In the power of, and the, power the, power of the tongue. Yes. The tongue has power. Yes. And, the, and the power it, it, the tongue speaks words. Yes. That's where the words are. Death and life are in the power mm -hmm. of your words. So you gotta be careful now from now on what you say. Well, I just have to give it to him. I oh. have to, you know, I just have to tell him. Oh. You know, I just get it have to get it off of me. But you didn't get it off of you. It. You spoke it, and those seeds are coming right back to yes. you. Yes, yes. You're yes. sowing in your own life. Yes. You're sowing in your own garden, That's and it. you're gonna grow it. Mm. Oh my God, Lord, help me. <coughs> Unseat them things. Yes. <laughs> Unplant them things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the words are seed and you're sowing them mm -hmm. and you're sowing them in your life yeah so i don't want those no more <laughs> i want to go dig all that bad stuff out amen mm -hmm. so here's our text right here and i'm going to read it to you from the amplified as well but king james says but they jose wait upon the lord shall renew their strength mm -hmm. they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary yeah. they shall walk and not faint that's it, that's Amen. It. Praise God. Listen to the Amplified. <clears throat> but those who wait on the Lord, who expect, look for, mm -hmm. and hope in Him. Mm -hmm. That's a mouthful, right yes. there. Mm -hmm. We got. We we have to expect. Yeah. And you know when when you pray and you leave it there, then we expect <clears throat> and look for and hope in Him. Mm -hmm. And it says we will gain new strength and new. Uh, renew their renew their powers. They will lift up their wings mm -hmm. and rise up close to God, like eagles raising towards the sun. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Amen. We need this. Amen. This is this is great. Keep going. Yes. I got some good ones for you. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Let me read you this little bit. It says, but uh, one of God's greatest or exhortation verses in, in the Bible mm -hmm. calls us to exhort and wait on him, have mm -hmm. faith in him, and we will be victorious. Mm -hmm. Waiting is seen as a difficult task for most people during their challenge times. Mm -hmm. A lot of us you only think about him when you're going through some challenge times. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you go and dump on him and you take off. And he's gonna do it for me. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and then we start getting the attitude about well, you know, he don't like me. He's too slow. I mean, why do you why do you even go there? You know, why do you even go there? Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> they see God is too slow. They don't care about. He don't care about about us. Waiting in this verse means to trust, to have faith in God, despite 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 the the uh, situation that you're going through or yeah. that you're facing. Amen. Remember. The Bible, what the Bible says, he's got in the mountain mm -hmm. and he's got in the valley. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're going through some valleys, but still, he's still God. 
and he says he never leaves you so he's always with you Amen. and he's going to go through he's going to go through it with you mm -hmm. we're not going to stop it's not time to stop mm -hmm. amen we may be going through some low things some valleys you know but he says they can walk with him you know we're going to go through mm -hmm. amen let, let, open, open your bibles to um oh uh, i have a, i have a slide too open your bibles to psalms 23. everybody know psalms 23. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Are you there? Oh, yeah. I need to get there. The Lord is my shepherd. The yes, Señor is mi pastor. Mm -hmm. He's my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth yes. me beside the still waters. Yes. He restores my soul. soul. He leadeth me in a path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes. Look at verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Amen. Mm -hmm. He leadeth me besides the still water. And then verse 4 says, Yea, Lord, walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will go in the house of the Lord forever. So we're going through some valleys, but we're going to go through. Yes. Amen. Yes. You might be going through that valley, but you know what? He's going to see you through. Yes. You're not going to stay there. Woo. Hallelujah. Yes. And I remember Moses when he got to the Jordan River <laughs> and the armies behind him. Uh -huh. Man, we got some big problems behind us. <laughs> so he called on God and God told him what to do. He mm -hmm. stretched that up. Rod and, and the seas parted. Yeah. Man, your seas are going to part. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's going to see you through. Amen. And you know what? They walked on dry ground. They didn't walk on, on water. They walked They walked on, the water. Mm -hmm. on dry ground. Yeah. So, amen. Praise God. And you know what? <laughs> he is God if he wanted to. He could have them all walked on the water. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's just me. <laughs> he could have them walked all the way across. And the, rest, and the army just drowned. That's it. <laughs> but he does what he does. And yeah. we have to trust him. Amen. We can't figure it out for him. Like we try to help him, you know. He says, no, no, no. <laughs> just leave it there. <laughs> for God, he is a way maker. God is a promise keeper. And God is our light in this dark world. Amen. Uh, and Okay, thank you. <laughs> He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me to the still. Thank you, Carmen. Go to the next one. Psalms 30 and 5. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, yes. I just got the last part of it, but it says, We may endure for a night, uh -huh. but joy and happiness will come in, in the morning. The morning. Amen. It says, His anger mm -hmm. is but for a moment. Yes. His favor is for life. Mm -hmm. yes. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. What he says about joy, he says, "Joy of the Lord is your strength." <laughs> you know, we want we want to be sad about everything or angry about everything, but he says, "Have joy about it." Amen. Have joy about it. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is your strength, and it's going to show others. I've spent time with him. People know if you spend time with him enough, because the way you react and your attitude is going to show. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you. Woo. The Psalms 2, uh, 23 and 2 talks about He maketh me to lie down in green pastures and He leaves me besides the still waters. The still waters, the waters of rest. Yeah. Amen. He knows when, when you need the rest. And it says, Sheep are restless in, in rushing waters, uh -huh. but yeah, are yeah. calm and wait in still waters of yeah. rest. Yeah. The shepherd knows this. Yeah. Amen. God chose David. And David, the little shepherd boy, amen, he knew. Amen. And uh, remember, he was chosen king of Israel. Even though people look at you a different way and see you as nobody, God chose you. God chose David amen. as king. And he was nothing but a little shepherd boy. And that's what they said about him. Oh, he's just a shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. But guess what? God chose him to be a king. Amen. God has chosen you regardless of what people say. You're not good. You're not qualified. You can't do this. You can't do that. But still, Lord, I'm pressing on with you. Regardless of what this impatient, ungodly world is saying. Or what people are saying. You know what? Like I said, please God, don't please people. You'll never please people. Amen. Right. They're going to say what they want to say. 
Uh -huh. Amen. And they can't walk the walk and talk the talk. No. But you can. Yeah. So you just keep pressing on. Psalms 27 14 says, Wait patiently. Wait in faith and patiently on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Amen. So I want to wait. Amen. I want to wait. Here we go. That's me by the waters. <laughs> it says, Waiting patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes. Wait patiently on the Lord. Okay, so I brought it to him. Now I'm going to wait patiently. If I was waiting patiently, that means I have faith. I have trust. I'm believing. Amen. I'm believing to receive. So let's not be impatient. Amen. Yes. Amplify says this. Wait and wait for it and confidently expect the Lord to be strong and let your heart be uh, take courage. Yes, wait for it and confidently expect the Lord. Amen. Lord, I'm leaving this in you. I'm leaving this to you. I'm bringing it to you. And I'm leaving it there because I'm trusting and believing that it's going to come to pass. That's all you have to say. And I'm trusting now. We're going to find out. Timing still his, not ours. We want it now. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Waiting patiently, confidently, expectantly, in faith, hope, and trust. Waiting is trusting God's timing, God's character, and God's goodness. Amen. So, Lord, I do trust you. Lord, I do trust you, and I do uh, believe in your timing. It's not about making us uh, wait to see how long uh, you can take it, <laughs> about being too slow. <laughs> this is something that we do for, to one another. I'm just going to make you wait. I don't care about you. <laughs> I'll make you wait. I'll keep you waiting. So we think God is slow and just wants to make us wait. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's not, it's his, his timing. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's his ti on his timing. Waiting on the Lord demands two key elements. One of them is complete dependency and relying on him. If you're going to trust him and depend on him, then you have faith in him. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And trust. Mm -hmm. A willingness to allow him to decide the terms, including the timing. Yeah. He knows when it's best for you. Yeah. And he knows when it's you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. And you'll receive it then. And it's gonna promote you. Yes. It's gonna raise you up. And you're gonna yeah. grow. You know that scripture you've been saying all so all these times? All of a sudden it means something different to you. Yeah, yeah. You grew. Yeah. It means something different to you now. Your eyes are open. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I I have something totally different. Or you see something totally different. Mm -hmm. Lord, open your eyes to yes. something else. You know, he's promoting you to yes. bigger and better things. Amen. Amen. Praise God. James 1 and 3 says, James, James 1, 2 and 3 says in the new uh, century. Keep going. I've got a couple of these. Faith. Knowing this. That the trying of your faith works yes. patience. patience. Have it. faith or have patience. Don't ask God for patience. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's already oh, part of you God. because it's supposed to be a fruit of the Spirit. Oh, it's right. in you. Work. you just right. got to work it out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, brothers and sisters, when you have made uh, many kinds of trouble, excuse me, let me. Brothers and sisters, when you have many kinds of troubles, you should be full of joy. Yeah. Because you know that these troubles test your faith. Mm -hmm. And this will give you patience. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, what you talking about? That don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the Word of God says. We got to get in there and find out what the Word yes, of God says. Yes. Amen. Oh, God. And, of course, Galatians uh, 5.22, it says uh, patience is a, a fruit of the Spirit. Yes, it is. Amen. Keep going. There we go. Mm. That's the one. It says, my brother, count it all joy when you fall in direst temptations, knowing this, that the trial of your faith worketh patience. So be patient. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. We must, learn to, we must learn, learn to wait upon the Lord. Oh, yes. Amen. I've said, I've read this uh, story about the little boy that was fishing. Yeah. And, uh, Old man comes walking up to him. He's happy. He's joyful. And he asks the little boy, are you fishing? He says, 
No. He says, I'm just drowning these worms. <laughs> we know his attitude is not right. No, it's not. If you go fishing, you better have patience. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. But you better expect to catch something. Yeah. And you know, I'm expecting to catch my breakfast. I'm expecting to catch my lunch. I'm expecting mm -hmm. to catch my dinner. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So expect. But his attitude was not right. Yes, yes. The man was happy about it. He was not happy about it. Mm -hmm. He says, go away. Don't bother me. Mm -hmm. And John, I just wrote a few little things here. It says, fishing, hunting, waiting in line. Oh, gosh. Either inside the restaurant or outside on the, oh, uh, uh, the uh, mm. drive through <laughs> Takes patience. <laughs> you go to your doctor's office and it takes patience. Oh, yes, because yes. It, it's going to take a while yes, for, yes. for my next appointment is what do you mean six months down the road <laughs> I say I want it now you know but it's working you it, it, uh, just a few other things uh, we're waiting in line for your turn Di a diet takes patience <laughs> learning a new language that takes a lot of time a jigsaw puzzle waiting for a phone call or waiting for some mail mm, your checks in the mail I want it now, you know? <laughs> Putting up with a co-worker that you don't like so well. Oh, <laughs> Takes lots of patience. <laughs> well, just think about all of some of the people Jesus hung around with. Oh, yeah. He had lots of patience. <laughs> I know some of us are waiting for retirement. Takes a while. <laughs> waiting for a new year. Ooh, hallelujah, we yeah. can start the new year. Man, I can't wait for next year. Yeah. Well, you gotta have patience. We got all these months to go. <laughs> uh, life in general is requires patience. Mm -hmm. We just gotta have patience, trust in the Lord, and grow and go for God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Things to have if you're going to fish. If you're going to fish, for sure, you gotta have patience and wait, expecting oh, no. with hope and faith yeah. that you're going to catch something. Yeah. I enjoy fishing. <laughs> I wish we had a lake here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I gave Stacy, our daughter, all my equipment. But I love fishing. But I know I have fun when I go. Because I'm expecting. And I catch. Amen. Amen. It's fun. I love fishing. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Boy did not. So this new year mm. and every day have a winning attitude. Mm. You're going to change this by how you prepare yourself when yeah. you spend time with Him. Yeah. By how you spend time in the Word. Mm -hmm. Maturing. Mm -hmm. Meditating mm -hmm. in the Word of God. It's going to change the way. Going to change your ways. Yeah. From losing yeah. to winning. Because yeah. now I'm walking with Him. And I'm using the word and confessing the word and speaking the word. Amen. Amen. So we need, we need to do this. Mm -hmm. Attitude is key here. And on a daily basis, positive or negative. You know, we've been negative so long. You know, the world's got us where we're just confessing negative things all the time. Mm -hmm. And we hear it and we just repeat it just like a parent. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what you're saying? Yeah. You're bringing things on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good for you. So I've been saying all these negative things over myself all this time, mm -hmm. thinking I was giving it to somebody else, huh. but I'm bringing it on me. You know so yeah. I'm not doing that no more. I want to change. You know, <laughs> what's that? Ignorance or insanity is <laughs> hoping for something, doing something different, but uh, expecting different different results. Mm -hmm. Doing the same thing over and over and over. And expecting different results. Mm -hmm. So you got to change the way you speak. Amen. The way you talk. Yes. Attitude. Boy's attitude was negative. The man's attitude was positive. He was John. He was joyful. And he just come to check on him. Are you fishing? He could have said yes. You know, hey, I'm going to catch a lot of fish. But he didn't. He said no. Mm -hmm. He says I'm drowning his words. <laughs> <laughs> attitude is contagious. Mm -hmm. Is your attitude. Listen to this. Attitude is contagious. Is your attitude worth catching? No. Do I want to catch your attitude? Because sometimes <laughs> you see somebody takes off, you know, and you're going to be that way. 
If you think you can get ticked off, what do you say me? <laughs> <laughs> that is nothing compared to what I can do. Keep going. That's some good ones coming up. Keep going. Self-control. Huh? Here's what I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Keep going, Tony. Mm -hmm. All right. Stop right there. Attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. Yeah. If you enjoy your car and you, it takes you from place to place, still you can't use it until you change that tire. Yeah, that's it. Your attitude needs to be the same, especially if you're a child of God, especially if you're a believer. Yeah. You need to change that attitude. That's it. Amen. That ain't blessing nobody. <laughs> and, it ain't, and, and God is not pleased with you. So change your attitude. Make it right. Get it right. And you know what to do. You know what the biggest problem is. Look in the mirror. Yes. We got to get this person right. We got to get this attitude right. You know, mm -hmm. get the word in you. Start confessing the word. Yeah. Attitude determines your altitude. Mm -hmm. Are you going to soar with eagles mm -hmm. and be positive? Or are you going to go low and be negative mm -hmm. and scratch with the chickens? Mm -hmm. That is your choice. Mm -hmm. I have a choice. And he's given us the right choices. Yes. So we need to make the right choices. Yes. Amen. So you can't blame nobody else but yourself. That's it. Well, this is what they have me doing, or this is what this, what that. What is the word of God says? Mm -hmm. Psalms 118, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be yes. glad in it. What is your attitude? <laughs> yeah. Keep going, brother. Praise God. I've got it on here. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Keep going. Here we go. You know the difference between a good day and a bad day? Yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Or you can put your name on there. Yeah. But good or bad day mm -hmm. is up to your attitude. How are you going to have it? Well, it's raining. I'm going to have bad attitude. Uh. It's knowing. Uh. Whatever. Good or bad day <laughs> is your attitude. Christ is with you. Christ is with you. He goes with you everywhere you go. Yes, yes. So he says, I've given you this day. Rejoice in it and yes. be glad in it. Amen. Amen. People are going to see this. You walk, you walk in the walk mm -hmm. and talk in the talk. Mm -hmm. And people are going to see your words and they're going to hear your words and they're going to see your actions. Oh, yeah. So you've got to be careful about your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. That's attitude. You know, what's coming out? Oh man, I'm so happy. Yeah, you ain't you don't look happy, and you ain't talking like you're happy. <laughs> you got you got you got to be you, you got to be careful. You must choose to start every day with an attitude of being positive or negative. Nobody can change that. Nobody can change that, but but you. But you, you 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 do that, and uh, we just saw. Uh, Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ all who strengthens things. me uh -huh. that means I gotta take care of me yeah. I gotta get myself straight mm -hmm. the Bible says I can do it I can do it you know I can hey, do all man. things do all things through Christ mm -hmm. especially I gotta correct me mm -hmm. amen yeah. attitude of gratitude we just uh, go back one time there we go give it thanks when Always. Always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Philipp, uh, excuse me, Ephesians five twenty. Yes. Amen. So have an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for giving me this day. I will rejoice and be glad yes. in this day. Amen. Amen. An attitude of thanksgiving. An attitude of winning. You're a winner and not a loser. It's time you start seeing yourself the way He sees you. How does he see you? He loves you. He's made you to be an overcomer. He's made you to be a winner and not a loser. Amen. Don't pattern yourself after the world. Don't pattern yourself or copy somebody else. Be the original God made you to be. Amen. He made you to be a winner. He didn't put you here to be a loser. God, Jesus, excuse me, God sacrificed his son. Put, he went to the cross. Jesus was sacrificed. And you know, a lot of people see that as a place, a losing place. Mm -mm. A place of defeat. Mm -mm. It's not. It's no. a winning. That's it. Amen. 
that's winning but he didn't stay there a lot of people still see Jesus crucified mm -hmm. he's not on the cross anymore that's he right. was died that's he was right. buried and he rose again the Bible says he ascended he told the disciples what to do he said go yeah. to all the world preach the gospel uh -huh. to every man he said you can do these things mm -hmm. and then he was taken up and is seated at the right hand of the father a place of authority yes interceding for believers mm -hmm. For us, the church, the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Praise God. So, see yourself a winner. Yes. He paid the price. And he paid a debt you didn't owe. Yes. Amen. And I owe something that I can't even pay. Yes. But still, I can give myself to him. Yes. Amen. And I can do all things through Christ. On a daily basis, if you got to repeat it over and over and over. I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Because people are going to put you down. They're going to tell you negative things, bad things. You're going to read it. You're going to hear it. Everywhere you go. Uh -huh. I'm a child of God. Yes. Victory belongs to me. Mm -hmm. I'm a winner, not a, not, not a loser. That's it. Amen. I'm victorious. Yes. I am triumphant yes. in what God sent me to do. And I'm going to press on. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm blessing me. I don't know about you. Yes. <laughs> yes. So me... <clears throat> Be a winner, not a loser. Matthew yeah. six thirty three. We just saw a few minutes ago. It says, "But seek first the kingdom, of God, His righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you." Amen. Meaning, you have, you have, you have a job, mm -hmm. and you have priorities everywhere you go. But still, yeah. my first priority before I get to my job, I have a priority to my God. Uh huh. I seek Him first. Yes. Amen. Before I go anywhere. Amen. And I strengthen myself. Mm -hmm. Spirit, soul, body. Mm -hmm. Amen. Spirit, I feed the word of God. My soul is my mind, will, and emotions. I renew my mind with the word of God. Yes. And my flesh <laughs> wants to be comfy and do nothing. I just crucify it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then I walk out and press on and wait for those giants that are waiting you out mm -hmm. there. Amen. And press on in victory. Amen. Attitude, listen, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> the attitude. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, boy. Notice. <laughs> you need to write this somewhere. <laughs> attitude. Notice. Attitude. A little thing that makes a big difference. Uh -huh. People see you right away. Yeah. When you hear people, you know where they're at. You can yeah. locate them quick. <laughs> They're positive or negative. Man. God loves you. <laughs> Amen. God loves you. I don't want to leave you the way you are, but I just want to let you know God loves you. <laughs> Sometimes we may feel like the little boy. Come on, you. We haven't accomplished anything. Your friends, your co workers, people. Are going to tell you these things. Mm -hmm. You ain't amount to nothing. Yeah. You ain't done nothing. Huh. You ain't nobody. Mm -hmm. You'll never be anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You've heard them all. Mm -hmm. I've heard them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, well, I'm not going there, but. <laughs> <laughs> Don't receive it. Don't accept it. You know, if somebody sent you a friend request, it says confirm or delete. <laughs> what are you going to do? If you hear it, that's not for me. Delete it. That's all you got. Renew your mind with the word of God. It means renew your mind with the word and delete all that negative stuff. You don't have to receive it. You know what happens? The battlefield is the mind. Yes. And it's going 100 miles an hour, you know, and and, and you got to renew it and you got to clean it. Yes. Amen. I, I've told you this before. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Yes. Renew your mind with the word of God. That's it. Because there's all kinds of negative things, oh, yeah. all kinds of positive things, and you hear more and more and more. With all the media, all these new things nowadays, you hear it all the time. So, yeah. you know, you got to clean it up. Yes. I think, uh, I'm not a computer person, but uh, they, they clean the memory because it gets messed up. Yeah. It gets full. So, guess what? We, we got to renew our minds daily mm -hmm. and get it out amen. amen and not be thinking on the negative stuff if you're thinking <laughs> negative guess what you're going to fall yeah because that's all you're thinking about mm. 
renew your mind and start thinking positive things. Yes, 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 yes. Come on now. Right. Haven't accomplished anything. You're wasting your time. Mm. Why do you go and meet all the time? You know, you, you guys are just wasting your time. Mm. Jesus ain't coming back. Yes, he is. You know, you're just wasting your time. You know what? You just die and that's the end of it. Mm. That's not what the word of God says. So if you're going to stand on the word, don't receive that. Mm. I'm not wasting my time. Yeah, Spinning right. your wheels. Mm -mm. Listen to this. Anxious, impatient. Again, impatient and ungodly world out there. Mm. Stress, annoyed, annoyed, uh, annoyed, uh, irate, edgy, uneasy, jumpy. Have I hit any buttons yet? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, spending your time with Him and setting your priorities in the right order. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God with Christ and renewing your mind. Yes. Amen. This is what you can do. And get all this negative stuff out. Right. It don't have to stay there. How do I do it? I don't have to live with this. I don't have to think about it anymore. Mm -hmm. It's going to come, but you need to you, you need to get it out. You need to yes. get it out, delete it, and renew your mind. Yes. It don't have to stay there. Okay. It's got to go. The Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Yes. All these negative things. Right. And they have to go. Yes, yes. Okay? So... When you resist, you're taking authority. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. I resist all these negative things. I'm not going to think all these things. I'm renewing my mind with the word of God. It's got to go. Yeah. Amen. And I'm going to press on and start confessing the word. Start confessing the word. Yes, amen. Confess the word. Confess scripture. Yes. Uh, sing. You know. Yes. Beautiful songs. The renewing of our strength requires that we wait upon the Lord even in the middle of great trials. If we wait on the Lord, we will reap, we will win, we will gain, we will earn, we will acquire, and we will obtain. Yes. If we wait upon Him. Amen. This is what we're going to gain. We're going to gain victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to gain victory, and that's what He wants us to have. He wants us to have, be victorious. He wants us to be triumphant. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This losing thing is not for us. Jesus won so that we could, and, and so we could be on the winning team, and we're on God's winning team. That's it. Amen. So let's remember this: you're victorious, Amen. and you're a winner, and not a victim. That's it. Most of us just go around being victims, you know, of whatever the world says or whatever people say. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a victim of nobody. No, I'm victorious. Sure. I'm a victor Amen. and not a victim. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we wait on the Lord, we will reap and we will gain and we will win. Mm -hmm. Our faith and trust must be tested to gain strength. Amen. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. In these times that we need the Lord more and more, more than ever before. Because we've grown. Things have changed. You know, we got more media. We got more negative things floating oh, around out there that you can see, you can hear, oh, and you got to be careful yeah. that you train your children the way they should go. Mm -hmm. Because they hear all the negative stuff, and if they don't train at home, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the world is not going to train them. That's and if it. they learn the world's ways, guess what? Yes. That's not good. No. Amen. Train your children the way they should go. When they're old, they won't depart from it. Yes, Amen. Yes. So, parents. This is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. At home first. Yes. And then they learn at school or wherever you send them to. Yes. But it doesn't start at school. It doesn't start with the babysitter. No. It starts at home. Yeah. Oh, Amen. Praise God. Woo. You still love pastor? Yeah. <laughs> In these times, we need the Lord more than ever. Easy to live for God and trust in Him when all things are going well. Yes. Yeah. Not easy when the weight of the world is upon your shoulders. You don't know what I'm going through. Well, you're going through it possibly because mm -hmm. you haven't trusted Him. That's it. That's it. But He doesn't want you. He went to the cross. God sent Jesus to the cross. Mm -hmm. Sacrificed His Son. Jesus mm -hmm. was sacrificed so that you wouldn't have to go through these things. So that you would know the truth. And the truth is going to set you free from all these negative mindsets. Right. 
Many Christians, listen to this, we're talking about Christians. <laughs> many Christians quit. Many, many, many Christians bail out on God as the storms of life get tougher and tougher. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell you all the time, pray for us as pastors. Sometimes uh, we, we we think just like you do. Sure. <laughs> I tell Patricia, hey, I'm not going this Sunday. She says, but you have to. You're, you're a pastor. Yes. I'm not bragging on me. I'm bragging on my God because I want to fulfill what he's called me to do. Yes, amen. And I want to be here because he's using me to teach you. I don't want to quit. I don't want to make excuses for not being here. There's too many churches, too many pastors quitting. Yes. Amen. If you don't have the right relationship with God, you'll you'll want to quit. Yeah. And here's the thing, and I've said this many times. We didn't come to start a mega church. Mm -hmm. And if we don't see a mega church, if we don't see people, all the seats full. We're going to quit. Something's wrong. Mm -hmm. And we think about those things now. That's why you pray for us. <laughs> but we come and do what he's called us to do. Mm -hmm. Regardless. When the, when, when the COVID was at its peak, mm -hmm. there was four of us preaching, or four of us here. Mm -hmm. And these seats were all empty. Mm -hmm. I didn't preach like the seats were empty. I preached like how God wanted me to preach. Yeah. Amen. People are listening. People are watching. Mm -hmm. And that's one now. It's not what I'm what I'm here for. And I'm not here for the finances. <laughs> I can tell you something about finances. <laughs> It's not for the finances. But I want you to know this. Be proud of your church, the body of Christ, us. We know why? Because we may be small, but we have a big God. Yes, yes. You may be one, but you have a big God. Yes. Yes. Amen. So the enemy could come and tell you all these things and come against you mm -hmm. and think you think, have you thinking that you're a nobody. I'm only one person against this big God, this mm. big uh, devil. Mm. No. God is with you. Yeah. He's never left you and never forsook you. Yes, so, know that greater is he that is in me. This God in me is mm. bigger than whatever yeah. devil tries to come against you. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Or whatever problem tries to come against you. Yeah, yeah. So, see, see yourself that way. See yourself mm. big. See yourself victorious. And that you're going out to be a winner for God. Amen. Amen. So we're close right there. And uh, we're not even halfway done with this. Amen. But patiently, patiently waiting on Him. Amen. Each and every day. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Did you get something? Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Lord. Some of you that are listening, some of you are watching. You never accepted Christ. Now's the time. We can't close. We just want to let you know Christ loves you. Jesus loves you. And He wants you to come home. Yes. He wants you to accept Him as you Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know, I want you to know that salvation is free. You don't have to belong to any church. You don't, you don't have to belong to any club or anything else. You don't have to buy your way or pay your way. Salvation is free. It's a free gift. And all yes. He wants us to do is receive it. Yes. But you have to confess it with your mouth. Yes. The Bible says to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. So all you have to do is, is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And that's only the beginning. We, yes. He'll receive you. But then it's up to you to go to a Bible-based church where you yes. can start going and go, growing for God and studying yes. the Word and staying hungry for Him. Amen. Yes. And He wants to use you. He didn't put you here to be a, a loser. He put you here to be a winner. But He's got a mission. He's got a call on your life. If you, nobody ever told you that, He called you here. 
But now I need to receive him yes. and ask him, Lord, what is it you want me to call me to do? Yes, yes. I want to go for you. Mm -hmm. And he'll tell you. Amen. But you have to have a relationship with him. That's yes. what Christianity is all about. Have a yes. relationship with your heavenly father. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. If you have sickness in your body, it don't belong there. So yes, that's what the Bible says. So I'm just confessing with you. The Bible says that by his Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yes. So any malfunctions in this body, we just command them to be healed in yes. Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. And body, receive your healing right now in Jesus' yes. name. You, Woo! Hallelujah. If you uh time to give, if you're watching, listening, go to our website, nbcbigbn.com. Hit the donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79043. And Cash App, we can use Cash App now. New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Hallelujah. God loves you and we love you. Have a blessed day. Amen.